folks, what is the most difficult input in fighting games? That is the question that I'm setting out to answer today. I'm going to be running through a list of some of the hardest to pull off special moves and super moves from throughout the history of fighting games and trying to find out which ones are easy and which ones are actually hard. And to do that, I'm going to be attempting these myself. And I will be rating them on a scale from 1 to 10. So maybe a fireball is like a 0. A fireball probably isn't even on the scale. A fireball super is maybe like a, a, a 2. What do we think? Like a 1? Pretty darn easy. Uh, but what about like a raging demon? I think this is maybe like a 3. I think most people could do this with just a few tries, even if they've never done it before. What about a Kara raging demon? So attempting to do Raging Demon without any moves coming out that will hit the opponent first. That's pretty darn hard. Look, see, I even missed it right there. You can see I hit with one hit of the medium punch. There we go. I got it to come out. That, that was pretty tough. That was probably like a, a, a seven, maybe. I think that's going to take most people a lot of tries to get right. But let's see. Can we find something more difficult? Can we turn this to the next level and uh, find some really crazy difficult moves? Let's attempt it and hop into the list. Folks, before we get into it, I wanted to tell you about the sponsor for today's video, Rocket Money. Making YouTube videos for a living presents me with some unique financial challenges. You know, I got income coming in from multiple sources. I have lots of expenses to manage and I'm a busy guy. I don't have a ton of time to handle all my finances myself. That's why I'm super relieved that I have Rocket Money to help me out. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower your bills and manage your money better. My internet bill, for example, I was paying a lot of money every month because, you know, I got a live stream. I got to upload videos. I need a beefy internet connection but I looked on Rocket Money and they pointed out to me, hey, you're probably paying more than you need to for your monthly internet bill. Let's see if we can lower that for you. And so they go in and they negotiate with your provider to get you a lower bill every month, whether it's internet, cable, phone, they can do it all. Another thing Rocket Money does that I love is they pay attention to the changing prices of your monthly subscriptions. So they told me, hey, one of the streaming services you're subscribed to, uh, the price just went up, you got charged more. And I said, no, I think I'm good. So I wanted to cancel the subscription and I didn't even have to go anywhere else. I could do it through the Rocket Money app, just a couple clicks and you can cancel any subscriptions that are unwanted or that you don't use anymore. So to save money and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash jmcrofts or click the link down below in the description to get started it for free. All right, so we took a look at one of the most iconic complex inputs in fighting games, the Raging Demon. Let's look at the other one, I think, which is the Raging Storm from Geese in King of Fighters. And to be honest, this was pretty easy. You can see no edits. I got it first try. Uh, and the input for this is just down back, half circle back, down forward, plus punch. So yeah, it looks like that. And it's not that hard to do. I think, you know, it's a complicated input, but I think most people would get it pretty quickly. And there's actually a cheater input you can do that makes it a little bit easier to remember. If you just do two half circle backs and then down forward plus punch, you will still get the Raging Storm to come out. So if you have a hard time remembering the whole like down back, half circle back, down forward, just do two half circle backs and then down forward punch. And as you can see, uh, this is very consistent. This is not that hard to do. So yeah, I would give it like a, like a four... But I know some of you are probably wondering, why is this called the pretzel input? This is what we call it, the pretzel input for this move. Why is it called that? Well, the idea is, you know, we start down here and down back. And then we move the stick over and we do a half circle back. OK, so a half circle back like that. And then we take it and we go down forward. And it looks like that. And, I, you know, I feel like, OK, it might take some imagination, but th this is this is basically a pretzel, right? So uh, yeah, that's that's the idea. That's why it's called a pretzel motion. Uh, but it turns out it's actually not as hard as a lot of you might think. I think it's just mostly hard to remember and it's definitely unusual. You don't see this motion every day. Another one that you definitely don't see every day is here in Soul Calibur 2 with Ivy. She has a couple really insane special moves that we're going to take a look at. The first one here, let's let's open up the move list, go over to throws. We're looking at summon suffering. You guys see this it's like down forward, up back, forward, down, down forward, down back, A plus B. This, and you have to be in throw range as well. So yeah, obviously this is a lot of inputs and they're not really in like a sensible order. You know, at least the pretzel motion has a half circle back in it. So that makes it easier to remember. But what is all this? So let's give it a try doing it the, the way that you're actually supposed to do it. 
Uh, it's something a little bit like this. Nope, I, I missed it. I missed it. Nope, okay, we missed it again. There, wait, did I get it? No, that was wrong inputs. There we go, there we go. Okay, what was that, like fourth or fifth try? Dude, so yeah, this is low-key uh, pretty pretty darn hard. I think most people, this will take them a few tries. I would give it maybe like a 6 out of 10. It's pretty hard. But there is a cheater way that I learned to do it from watching Eris avoiding the puddle here on YouTube, which is that if you pretty much just spin, spin the stick in circles, and as long as you end on down back... <laughs> It'll it'll have remembered you'll have hit all the inputs at some point during this so you can pretty much just do this And then down back and yeah, you'll get the sub and stuff. So that makes it a lot easier It's obviously, you know slower and the opponent can hear you turning the butter But uh, yeah, there is a slightly easier way She has another one by the way that is very similar the calamity symphony and to do this one We just we just have to be in whip state and then it's it's pretty much the same thing I think let me see can I do it here? Uh, like that Yes, okay, okay. I did it I did it the real way there. But uh you can also mash it as well. Just get in whip state, spin like crazy, and then do uh down back plus A plus K, and there you go. So yeah, if you cheat with these, they're not that hard, but if you try to do it the real way, it is actually pretty tricky. At least you have to remember a ton of directions, which is really hard, I think. Next up, let's take a look at Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You know, Street Fighter 2 is not well known for having very crazy special move inputs, but there's one character that has a surprisingly hard one, and that is going to be Fei Long. So Fei Long has this special move uh, that we call Chicken Wing. That is like the colloquial name for the move. It's half circle forward, up forward, plus kick. And uh, this move, low key, the heavy kick version of this move is actually like the hardest special move to do in the game. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is when you press up forward, the character only has two frames before they leave the ground. And if you leave the ground at all, you cannot do this move anymore. It's a grounded move. So if you press the kick button after he leaves the ground, the move will not come out. And the second reason is Fei Long has a command normal on forward heavy kick, which counts as being airborne. So if you press it a little bit too early, he'll go into this move and then he's airborne. So he can't do the chicken wing. If you press it too late, he's airborne and he can't do the chicken wing. So yeah, I think you'll find that if you've never done this before, it is a good deal harder than it looks, but I practiced for a little while. I think I'm pretty decent. Let's see if I can do five in a row. I think that'll be my test here. I missed the first one. So already not off to a good start. There's one. And then I missed the second one. Okay, there's one, there's two. And then I missed the third one. So you can see, like, I'm able to get them, but I am not that consistent uh, compared to the the professional Phalong players who are, like, really good at this. Okay, we got five in a row. It, it, it took some concentration, but I was able to get them. But yeah, if you've never done this in this game, I promise you uh, the move is probably a little bit harder to pull off than you think. I think a big reason for this is that there's a bit of a disconnect between like your left and right hands. It's hard to press up forward and heavy kick at the same time without there being some kind of delay either way. And that actually is a really important factor when it comes to our next move. So the Fei Long Chicken Wing, I would probably give that like a five. It's reasonably difficult, but I think you should be able to get it at least some of the time. It might be hard to get 100% of the time. But a much harder move, I think, is the Electric Wind god fist let's check it out on devil Jin. this is a very famous move we're here in tekken 8 and the input for this move is forward neutral down down forward plus punch like that but the trick to this is to get the actual electric version with electric sparks you have to hit down forward and punch on the same frame one frame window i'm pretty sure it has to be the exact same frame so you can see if you're just a little bit too slow you will get the non-electric version, which is minus 10. It's punishable. If you do it just right, let's see if I can pull it off again. It was amazing that I hit it uh, earlier when I needed to. There we go. It's plus five if you do it right. So 15 frame difference in block advantage. So it's really important that you get the electric version when you need it. I feel like the trick to this one is kind of you want to press the punch button way too early. Like when you're going from down to down forward press it like halfway between down and down forward because i think most people they tend to really wait too long just for whatever reason your right hand is a little bit delayed so press the button a little bit early 
You can see I'm really struggling now. I, I put the pressure on myself. Bro, can I actually do this? There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two in a row. Okay, so yeah, if you, if you really focus and press the button early before you go to down forward, uh, it is it is doable. But to make it even harder, what you end up doing a lot in this game is the Mishima characters, Kazuya, Devil Jin, Heihachi in some games, Reina in this game, they have wave dashing, right? So wave dashing, you can do wave dash into Electric Wind God Fist, right? And this is, I'm telling you, to do to do this properly, I find to be so hard. So let's see if I can at least do this one time. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this a bunch. My wave dash is is even really slow. It's not even that good of wave dashing. So let's see. Can I get one wave dash into Electric Wind God Fist? Oh, I did it. Okay, okay. That was probably like tenth, eleventh try. So yeah, I would say just one Electric Wind God Fist. I honestly gotta say is like an eight. I think this is one of the hardest moves that I that I've attempted yet today. One is like an eight, and then doing uh, a wave dash into an electric wind god fist. Like I don't want to say ten because I want to leave myself some some difficulty left on the scale. But I don't know nine point five. You guys think I'm being a baby here? To me, this is really hard. But maybe it's because I'm traditionally more of a two D player and not not a three D player. But yeah, to me. That is really, really hard. As close to a 10 as I think I'm willing to go this early in the video. All right, next up, let's move into the realm of anime. Guilty Gear XX Accent Core uh, has instant kills, which tend to be some pretty complex inputs. And there's one character who is kind of famous for having the craziest one which is going to be Dizzy. So let's take a look. So the input for her instant kill, if we go to the move list here, is charge down, up, back, forward, down, punch, plus heavy slash. So this is a little odd, right? Because this is not an airborne move. So you, you cannot do this move from the air. So it's like, how am I supposed to input all this stuff that starts with an up while being airborne? Uh, and you might think, well, I can go really slow, right? Like I can do up, let, back, forward, down. Uh, but no, this doesn't work either. It just takes too long. You don't have time to input everything. So you kind of have to do some tricks to do this. You're going to have to hide the jump within a button. So I feel like the easiest way to do this is by taunting. Uh, so if you dizzy the opponent or whatever with dizzy, how appropriate, you can just taunt. And then input the instant kill like that. So uh, let's actually land it on the opponent. So we'll taunt up, back, forward, down. And it looks like this. And it just destroys them. So uh, yeah, not the most cinematic instant kill. Uh, but still, it's a fun little gimmick. And I do like that the easiest way to land this is to use taunt. I always like when taunts are incorporated into the game. So yeah, that's Dizzy instant kill. Uh, to be honest, once you know the taunt trick, this is really easy, so I would give it like a three, but uh, still super funny gimmick. Uh, I am a fan of that. All right, let's go to what I think is the most obscure game on the list, Aggressors of Dark Combat. Uh, so this is an old Neo Geo game, only three button game. And the character we're interested here is is Bobby. So let's try out Bobby. I'll get I'll get a uh, second player opponent to see if we can do. Bobby has one very interesting move. And it is called the Bobby Dance. Um, and the input looks like this. <laughs> so I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do this. Uh, let me check my buttons here. B button. I think that's right. So if we do up, down, back, down, forward, up, back, up, forward, down. Oh my gosh. So up, down, back, down, forward, up, back, up, forward, down, plus B. What? What? Huh? I honestly have no clue how to do this. I just know that this is a move that exists. Okay, I had to do some research. I had to pull out game facts. Shout outs to Go Billy, who is a pretty prolific Twitter user as well, who actually made a guide for this game last year or like two years ago, and uh, actually made it clear that you have to be grappling the opponent for this to work. So this is not a move that you just do straight up. You have to grapple the opponent and then you could do it. So let's try that. Is that 
Is that the Bobby dance? That looks pretty normal to me. That didn't that didn't look very fancy. Surely it's going to look way crazier than that, right? Okay, okay. I think I've solved it. I think the problem is it has to be a back grapple, which it, you have to kind of get the opponent to like whiff a move and then you throw him from behind. So that's a front grapple. So that's no good. So let, let's try this again with with a gra a back grapple potentially. Oh! Oh my god, I did it. All that build up for that. Okay, so I had to set a save state when the opponent was dizzied because that was the easiest way for me to get a back grapple without having to like play with two hands. <laughs> and I managed to do it. All of that setup. Listen, I mean, it was a pretty cool looking move. And look, I see I'm not even consistent with it. Hold up. Bobby, please, bro. And now I can't do it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what What am I doing different? <laughs> okay, this one is a 10 because I don't even really know how to do it. I did it twice on video, but I still don't know how. So yeah, like you got to get this specific type of grapple. You got to do this weird input. Listen, it's a 10. This is the hardest one. Bro, what the? The Bobby dance is really that hard? That's crazy, man. That is ridiculous. <laughs> what the heck? Aggressors of Dark Combat. The true challenge mode. Bro, I'm going to have to learn more about this game because I do not understand how this works at all. All right. And finally, let's take it all the way back. The Street Fighter 1. I actually think that doing a special move in Street Fighter 1, any special move, is one of the hardest things that you can do. So for whatever reason, if you've never played this game before, you might just think, okay, fireball, down, down, forward, forward, plus punch is fireball. But it doesn't work in this game. Down, down, back, back, kick, or hurricane kick does not work. Forward, down, down, forward, dragon punch. It just doesn't work, and I don't understand why. There's something about the way that inputs are interpreted in this game is just very, very confusing oh my god i got a fireball so this was a trick that justin wong told me is that if you do negative edge meaning you hold the button quarter circle forward release the button that makes it easier so that does seem to be a lot more effective i'm, I'm doing the input also really really fast so that helps as well like just do instant down down forward forward instead of you know doing a slow smooth motion like you might be used to from the later games some people say double tap seems to help i i don't know that's fireball let's see if we can do dragon punch oh we might be onto something here that was the accidental fireball but i'll t guys i might be getting good at this let's try tatsumaki for the one time all right quarter circle back kick first try okay listen maybe this is less hard than i thought it's definitely still hard don't get me wrong I feel like the trick is double tapping definitely helps. So maybe Justin's theory about negative edge is correct. Like, because when you double tap, you get two negative edge inputs. Regardless, I'm getting pretty consistent with this now. So I'm starting to feel pretty good. So maybe I'll, I'll give this one like a seven just because it's really hard to get it your first time, especially if you don't know these tricks with double tapping and with negative edge. It's really, really hard to just get a special move one time. But I feel like once you have the rhythm down, once you really start feeling it, because the other thing is, yeah, like the motion is you have to be fast. You have to you have to be extremely precise. But once you are, I feel like maybe it's not so bad. So I'll give Street Fighter one a seven. So I honestly think other than the Bobby dance, the Bobby dance was a whole other. That was some nonsense. Other than that, I feel like the hardest one was Electric Wind God Fist. Do you guys agree? I know there are some other really hard inputs that I didn't include in the video, so I would love to hear from you down below which ones you think deserve to be revisited. If I ever do a sequel to this, which I would love to do if I can find enough to populate a whole new video. So yeah, Electric Wind God Fist is as hard as everyone says. And other than that, pretty much the Bobby dance is the true challenge. So <laughs> aggressors of dark combat. <laughs> Street Fighter 1 still really hard but uh but doable so yeah that's gonna be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye everybody